young people that are inactive as far as digitally, what do they want for the education of Brazil? How can those young people that fit in this profile, how can they bring new solutions for the theme of education? That they want a teaching that is more customized. They, they, they don't want to be just another brick on the wall. They, they want their interests and their desires to be contemplated and listened to in education. Education is not filling buckets. It is lighting fires, the fire of curiosity. And even people that are 30 years old, that were born close to technology, they are not living technology as a young, young person of 17 years old today is living. I think the school in the past, it was a privileged place for learning. I think technology nowadays is arriving to recover this place of, uh, that the school used to have. What kind of formation, what kind of education we have to offer them? much more the competences for the 21st century to be constantly learning, learning how to work in a, in a group, citizenship. But I had a sad answer for my daughter. I, I see how to challenge her and encourage her. I can see what she's thinking. I can observe, I, I realized that I did not give her her own space to pick her own clothes. Why should I pick her clothes? No, you can wear those pants. Mentioning educators as we saw in, in Green School and Riverside, Riverside and in Brazil and several schools such as Morin Lima, Politeia, we heard a lot of sentences about giving choices to the students and having them exercise their possibility of choosing. Technology will pull this transformation. It will allow the teacher to have more time to develop other skills. The, bureaucratic part of transmitted information, correcting, grading tests, it will all be all be done automatically. So I expect revolution. I, I'm not waiting for revolution, but I have a shorter time than you folks. So I want, I really want a revolution. <laughs>